nearly 80,000 tons of food waste generated by businesses was disposed of in the King County landfill in 2008, and a good portion of that was still edible food. In many cases, the edible food was thrown away because businesses felt they couldn't sell it before it expired. What if, instead of throwing that food away and allowing it to waste in a landfill, it could be donated to someone who really needed it, and instead of taking a loss, your business received a tax deduction or lowered its garbage bill? Food Lifeline, Northwest Harvest, and the South King County Food Coalition all hunger relief organizations, they combined to distribute more than 45 million pounds of food to families last year. Yet it's estimated that demand at hunger relief organizations will increase by 22% in 2009 and 2010. Northwest Harvest frequently makes more than 1,000 sandwiches a day, and they're gone by lunchtime. And most days, the line to pick up groceries and fresh produce is a block long. With our network of food banks around the state, we have the people and the machinery in place to move food quickly. So if you're a food producing business and you've got good food that you can't sell, don't throw it away. Give it to us and we'll make sure it goes to people in need right now. Why do businesses throw food away? Many products have sell by or best if used by dates printed on them. Others are discontinued items or off spec goods. Supermarkets and food producing businesses have trouble selling these products when they near expiration, so they are often tossed into the garbage to make room for newer, fresher products on their shelves. If a product can't be sold by a pull date, it's more than likely still good to eat, possibly for several more days or longer, depending on the product. It can still be healthy and nutritious for someone if they get it soon. State and federal Good Samaritan laws protect donors that act in good faith. As long as they believe that what they donate is still safe to eat, donors don't have to worry about liability from the products they donate. All hunger relief organizations receiving food donations are required by law to follow Washington State Health Department food codes. We protect our clients and our donors by practicing proper inspection, storage, and handling procedures. We have complete product tracking and recall capabilities and strict health and cleanliness standards for our warehouse operations. We're on the front lines, providing a vital service to hungry families. If your business has food products that are no longer edible, those products don't have to go into the landfill. They can be collected for composting, often for less than the cost of garbage disposal. You can put your waste to a better use, reduce your impact on our climate, and improve your bottom line at the same time. Your business may also benefit by boosting employee morale and showing customers that you care about your community. 39% of people served by Washington Hunger Relief Organizations are children, and another 13% are seniors. I wish I didn't have to use a food bank, but right now I really do. It really helps. I can save the money for other things like doctor bills or my vet bills for my dogs, and no one in the family really has to go hungry. There's a constant need for more food. It never stops. We move it out of the warehouses to families in need as fast as we can. But there are still days when our food banks don't have enough. Large food distributors like supermarkets, uh, food processors, and farms in our area can make a huge impact because of the quantities that they can provide. The small businesses can make a positive impact too. Any size donation is needed and welcome. It all adds up. U.S. Food Service makes regular contributions to its local hunger relief agency. Some days the donations are small, but at other times they have truckloads of food that couldn't be sold. Hunger relief agencies will gladly accept any size donation any time. Though we take measures to reduce the amount of waste we produce, there's always some generated in this industry. We found that we saved a significant amount of money each month on our garbage bill by donating edible food instead of throwing it away. We also learned that we qualified for tax deductions as a result of donating food. This has made a significant difference to our bottom line while enabling us to salvage wholesome foods for families who need it. At U.S. Food Service, employees feel better about working here, and the process of donating has been easy to do. Sure, we wish we could have sold all of our stock, but we found a way to turn our loss into a gain for hungry families and our business at the same time. Hunger relief organizations can take donations of almost any food product, including produce and frozen foods, and they are appreciative of any amount of food donated. If you'd like more information on how to donate edible food, compost inedible food, and how your business can benefit, visit RecycleFood.com.
You can also visit the websites of these local hunger relief organizations for more information about donation needs, guidelines, and potential tax deductions. Remember, if you are a food producing business or distributor, your edible food donations can save you money while also making an immediate impact toward helping feed hungry families.